What should we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck that I designed myself. There is a link in the bio to several decks that I've designed and also for private readings. But in the meantime, what should we ask the tarot today? What do they find attractive about me? Spirit, for the viewer, what do others find attractive about them, please? What do others find attractive about them? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have high value, we have gratitude, unconditional love, and imagination is real. They see you as someone who has the ability to give unconditional love. I know that it's a term that we hear so frequently, and yet it is so rare. And with the flowers formed in a circlet, I feel that this person also has this unconditional love for you. The way that you give love may be both gentle and sweet. I feel that you are a very positive person and have this essence of gratitude. You may have the ability to see the good in every situation. You may have many gifts and talents and you are able to turn your ideas into something physical. Again, this is such a rare quality as many have profound ideas. And yet that's how they remain, simply as ideas. Not you. When you have a great idea, you start to create something with it. You understand your worth and your value. And you have no problem walking away from people, places and things that do not add value to your life. With the two stars, they may feel that it is destiny that has brought you together. Your hands, your hair, your figure, the way you dress, they all make an impact on this person. So not only do they find you attractive for your physical self, but also for your mental agility and your beautiful heart. They love you, mind, body, and soul. Spirit for the viewer, what do others find attractive about them please? What do others find attractive about the viewer? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Five of Cups. The Cups cards here show that you are such a deep feeler, an empath perhaps. We absolutely had said unconditional love and this is what we see a love that is endless and overflowing, and it is completely pure. We see the mountains in the background, showing obstacles that you have had on your path. I hear the words, how can you have remained so beautiful and so pure after all of these experiences that you have had, these disappointments? You have clearly suffered pain and disappointments. Others see that this has made you more beautiful once again, we see the circlet that we had seen in the unconditional love card. There are many who find you attractive. And it is in part your vulnerability that attracts them to you. You have this softness about you. But goodness, anyone who loves you knows not to take that softness for weakness. Because boy oh boy, you are certainly grounded and highly successful. We had said high value earlier, and of course, the Queen of Pentacles comes to show this. You have learned your value and your worth, and you prize yourself above all others, not from vanity. Others love this about you. Yellow is the color of confidence and sunshine, both of which you exude. With the Ram, it shows that you are stubborn and persistent, there is no goal that you can't achieve once you have set your mind to it. Others are floored by this. Remember when I had said that you have this imagination and that you are able to turn it into something real. This card reflects that. The pentacle here. In biblical days, this was called a talent, a gold coin that was traded. 
You have been creative with your ideas, and have turned it into something very successful for yourself. The symbolic meaning of the mountain goat shows that you have the agility to go into uncharted territory. A mountain goat has the ability to go to areas that other animals cannot. Have you ever seen pictures or videos of mountain goats on the tiniest of little ledges? What others think of as impossible, you achieve. And how cute is this picture? The bull with the big daisy eyes. So others may find something very unique about your eyes. The three of wands is a card of the determined dreamer. The tarot cards here very much complementing what we had known earlier, that others find you attractive by your mind, your physical beauty, and your heart. You are the whole package, all of it. If you would like to learn what others find attractive about you, there is a link in my bio to private readings.